Hey, Billy. Hi. Elbows, yeah. Okay, hold on. Hold the camera and let me get in. Okay. It don't matter if it's on or not. How'd you get in? Uh, I just stepped on that little thing in the back. I'm going to crawl in. I'm going to crawl across the live well, Billy. Crawl. And sit in the captain's seat. So I'm going to drive the boat. <laughs> Yeehaw. You're going to drive the boat. Yeehaw. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is Katie. I'm Billy. This is Billy, and we are going to go check some what I call trot lines, bush lines. It's, yeah, it's something bush like lines. that. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm new at this too. <laughs> That's I'm okay. My brother. <laughs> We're, so Billy and her sister Taylor and her brother Matt are people that we they're uh, people we grew up with. We might as well be related. I always said they were like the brothers and sisters I never had. And so this is just in the evening after work, uh, Friday evening, and we're gonna go check the trot lines. I asked Matt um, if I could go. I actually begged him. I said, can I go? I really wanna go. Cause I saw some cool pictures of some catfish that he had. So we're gonna get this boat put in the water here. And then um, we're gonna do a little introduction to Matt here. Cause Matt has a really cool YouTube channel, 104 Outdoors. If you like hunting and fishing and wholesome content, that's where you need to be. So we're gonna get this boat in the water and I'll catch you then. Team four. <laughs> Team four. Set. We'll see how we do him up while we're out here setting up a couple of lines. Yeah. Okay, we got the boat in the water and we are ready to go check these lines and possibly run a few more. So Matt's in the boat with us, Taylor's in the boat too. Yeah. So this is Matt, who I was talking about, um, who, like I said, has channel 104 Outdoors. We're gonna put a link in the description below to that. And you want some good wholesome content? This is the guy. <laughs> some fun hunting and fishing, wholesome content. Are you excited, Matt? I'm very excited. Well, I'm really glad that you let me come along, Matt. Well, you can come anytime you want. Because I kind of just invited myself. <laughs> I was Could like, you? please let me come, Matt. I'll take the help whenever we can get it. I think this is gonna be fun. We're looking oh, yeah. for some bush hooks today, and I think we're gonna. I got a good feeling. We got one right there okay. already ready to check. So Taylor's going to pull them out of the water and Let's see what's going on. Check them. And if they need bait, she'll rebait them. And if they're good, we'll leave them and go to the next one. I'm excited. Let's do this. We'll get a few catfish. Are you yeah. wanting these catfish to eat, Katie? Oh, uh, can we eat them? Uh, you can eat them if you want them. We, uh, we've got so much catfish in the freezer. We've been turning them back just trying to catch a big one. But if you want any of them, we may just have to turn them back because I'm thinking I ain't got no way to get home with them. I don't got a cooler or nothing. We'll see. See what happens. So by law, you have to have them tagged with your Oh, okay. That's okay. <laughs> Maybe yeah, hung. No. I think it's hung in my hair. Okay. I'm not 100% that you've got to have the extra flagging on there or not. I think you do. It helps see it. Yeah. Definitely don't see it first thing in the morning. But you said it's a law that you do have to tag you have your to stuff. Tag them with the least. Uh, we put I put my WRC number on it. Okay. So I think as long as you have that, or maybe like your name and at name and phone number or something. Well, I wondered how, how you would know who yeah. like somebody wouldn't do two at the same time, you know? Yeah. This first one's the one that showed this morning. What we call it? What we call it? One on this one this morning. We actually checked it and it didn't have anything on it and we came back through and it had one on it. So you guys have been doing this every morning and for evening week, yeah. for a week for fun or because like yes. you're going to eat them I and mean, you said you've got enough. Just right now it's for fun. We might keep Mine's them waiting sibling support, actually. Sibling support? <laughs> Taylor says yeah. she's wanting to support her brother. We might start keeping them later on. If we're just trying to catch a big one. We caught the biggest one so far this year has been 25 pounds. I saw that. <laughs> oh gosh! You ready? Well, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do. We ain't got no net. How big is it? It's big. Oh gosh! It is big. It is big. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh my gosh! That's a mud catch! Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! That's a big mud catch, son. I don't yeah, know what's really. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! gosh. I'm gonna try. That's ridiculous. Oh! Oh, oh yeah! Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Undo the, 
Get the get them pliers. Where are they at? Right there at your feet. That's insane. Oh. Taylor. Oh. Kobe, that's a big one. That's a big one, John. That's like half the size of me. Now put that boat in reverse, will you? How do you do that? Just pull that lever backwards. Pull the, pull the thing up on the bottom. Oh. Pull it backwards. There you go. You got it? Hold on now. Okay, yeah. Back us up. Dude, he's heavy. Megan, he's bad. Soaked me. Me too. Like a little bug-eyed thing. <laughs> we get pretty excited when we get a big one. I would be really excited. The goal is a 50 pounder. Is it? That's what you're after? 50 pounders. The 50 or bigger is the goal. I wish you'd get a video of And there are, they are in here. Just fall it in. <laughs> <laughs> you can fall in. So Matt says there's a bit, some big catfish. What else is in here, Matt? Uh, there's catfish. This lake's got catfish, bass, it's got a uh, striper, hybrid. It's got little brim. I'm sure it's got brim. plenty of them. That's what we're using for bait, actually. Oh, cut, okay. Cut brim. Cut brim? Yeah. And you can't use live bait on these, so you got to cut them. Right. That's illegal to use live bait? Okay. On a bush hook. On a bush hook. Yeah. This one looks like it's, like, moving, but I don't know if it's the winter. Well, this will be, no matter what, this is going to be a fun video, because this is going to get to be something totally different than what our viewers see. I can, I can definitely see some plenty of uh, footage of actual catches. Yeah, we may splice a few things yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> Just check these going down, then check those going back. So those are your pink ribbons on that side. Yeah. So they have, they have lines over there too. So we're just gonna kind of come up one side and the other. That gets on to me if I don't clean up my workstation. Your workstation? <laughs> we cooked. We're cleaning up the workstation, y'all. <laughs> it's like a crap to the sticks here. This in the morning? Are oh, you yeah. gonna go in the morning? Yeah. We tomorrow do. we're gonna go. One thirty or twelve. At like one o'clock because I have to be at work so early tomorrow. Yeah. I'm gonna be there at six, so we're gonna check them at like one o'clock tomorrow. You want to come oh. Sunday morning before church? We're also going. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'd go with you if you let me. Oh yeah. I, I dropped back in the water. Too. Yeah, he's a goober. Oh. Bait. We got bait. Yep. Looking for a fish. We're gonna get one. <laughs> and like I said, we go Sunday morning. We'll take our viewers out. Definitely the best. How come? Well, I mean, like, so what do you hey. think? That's really interesting. What do you think the difference between the morning and now is? I think just because the nighttime, I don't know. The nighttime activity? I think they're, they're more active at night. I think it's cooler in the heat of the summer. I think they do more feeding at night. And just first thing in the morning, it always seems like we catch more fish. But we've done really good in the evenings, too, if you have, like, a nice, cool day. Yeah. But today's what about been, the I turtles? Think really hot days, really sunny days. They don't, they don't get as hard. Oh, yeah. Have you gotten turtles before? Yeah, Pulled this up and had big turtle on it? We have caught, I think last year we caught like nine turtles. Bait. And then we caught one soft shell turtle. One soft shell I turtle? I didn't know we had soft shell turtles. No, I didn't know that either. Isn't that crazy, Billy? We definitely have soft shell turtles. We Billy's caught so one down the road. Is she scared? I'm just having a good time. Oh, okay. Billy's just having a good time. I'm relaxed. Are you cold? No. We actually kept two of the snapping turtles last year and ate them. Oh wow, that's exciting. They didn't eat the soft well, we, shell. We, yeah, the soft shell, I think there's some rules on that one. I don't know if you can, I don't know what the rules are. So you that. just put it back? Yeah. I think they might even be like protected here. Oh, okay. But they're supposed I, to be better eaten than the snapping turtles. I had one time, somebody had made, had caught turtles and made sausage out of the turtle meat. And it some, sounds weird, but it was better than any pork sausage I've ever had. I've always heard people say they have, like, old-timers say there's seven different types of meat on a turtle. Yeah. There's definitely three or four. Like, uh -huh. there's, there's different types of meat all in there. Yeah. Is this the one that's in the back? It's the one that's in the back, yeah. Well, our friend who gave us the uh, turtle on, sausage, his name is Turtle. And if you're watching this video, Turtle, you probably are. We still appreciate you. I want to spin you, too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The turtles are definitely... Oh, gosh. Uh, uh. Interesting to skin... Perfect. He says the big ones won't move. No. 
No, I'm just so, you don't know how excited. You know what? The bait don't move neither. That's me. <laughs> that bait. Yeah. I'm just really excited to be here. Just to be out on the well, water a, and get to really see this. This is really exciting because once you get them all set, the hard part's done. Yeah. You're just catching after that. And you don't know. I mean, you never know. No, Are we going to set more? We actually caught. Yeah, Thank I'll probably set about three it. more. I'll have to rig them up, though. That'll be fun. Yeah, we'll get to, to see how that we'll, works. We'll just we'll have to float right here for a second so I can rig about three of them up. Okay. If I got enough tags, I can look and see how many tags. I got, I got enough tags. It's great. I like it because it's a really good way to start your morning before work. Thank you. Yeah, wakes you up good. You get out here and you're excited. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Blue cat on this limb. Last year you caught. So Matt says last year he caught a monster blue cat on this, what we're about to check up here. I've got it. It's on one of my videos. It's actually on the catfishing video from last year. Oh. But I've got the picture. I'll show you. It was, it was a big one. It was probably, I say it was a monster. It was probably 20, I think it weighed 23 pounds when we weighed it. We're going to put that monster. picture in here. It was a monster to us. He told me to go and fill a jar up of honeysuckle. Of honeysuckle, just because he was like, I was like, oh, that stuff's so good, you know, the little drop, the tiny little yeah. drop at the end. He's like, go fill us a jar up of that. And I remember I went out there for like four hours, and you couldn't even tell that I got anything off of it because it's just so little. <laughs> I wonder if he also told you to do that because he was like, I'm going to keep Matt busy. That's all it was. That's all it was. Just, busy work. He's going to keep me busy. You have to like, did you have to empty the cigarette trays and stuff like that on your job? I had to go outside and pick up all the butts off the ground. That's funny. He's keeping you busy. Bag, yeah. I don't want to train my son. <laughs> no littering. No littering allowed. So no. this is the one where we wouldn't be able to tell if it was shaking, would we? Unless it was real big. It was a big one. Yeah. It was a big and it Is this on this big limb? This is not been a really productive limb. Well, that's okay. Okay. I know. So we had a limb with a uh, with our bait on it break. So we're going to have to yes. retie. It broke on my head. <laughs> it's retie time. Yourself. How did you ever start doing this? Is this something that you did when you were little with no, your dad, or we uh, we would catfish and stuff from the bank with rod and reel. But uh, my buddy Colby Little, he uh, his grandpa used to do it years ago, and he talked about catching big, big catfish and stuff on it. So a few years ago, me and Colby started doing it a little bit in the spring. Just and we wouldn't set many lines. We didn't really know what we was doing. Right. We just would try it, and we set five or six lines out and check, and we'd tear them down the next day. We wouldn't leave them out. And last year, we decided to try to run them for like a full week. And see. And put a lot more lines out, and we started. We would catch a few the other way, but we never caught much. But then when we started doing it like this last year, we started really catching them. So. Yeah. It, but he was, me and him was just one of the ones that took interest in it and started doing it. Oh, okay. Last year we did. We started around June. But I started a little earlier this year. And we've caught a few. It's not been a bad. Be, we ain't catching as much as we normally do. But so I don't know you, if maybe they move on. I don't know if the catfish may move up in here later in the summer. Maybe. The cooler water when the water starts heating up in the deeper part of the lake. I don't know. It's also been rainy. Muddy. Yeah. It's rainy. I, we, it's we don't do as good when it's muddy. Oh. Today, it's not muddy today. Do you so you guys you do eat them too? Because I know oh, yeah. my viewers are going to be yeah. like you eat, so they do keep some to eat. Yeah, we kept we kept a lot last year, but uh, we've got we've got enough now. We don't really need any, so we're just sort of catching them to try to catch a big one. Yeah, just to see and then let them go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the river, the Murphy River Walk. Right that's right, right, that there. is. So if you were gonna like, if you like earlier when you were talking about you're gonna. Uh, if you got fish with a rod and reel, what are you gonna? What would you have been throwing? Uh, we used to throw chicken livers a lot, but mainly yeah. what you catch on chicken livers is channel cats, and they they get pretty big, but they don't get as big as the blue cats and the mud cats. But the, you'll catch more blue cats and mud cats on something like cut bait, like cut brim. So you uh, like if that's what you wanted, you guys would have been using just cut bait on a. Can you do that on a rod and reel? You just can throw actually use live bait on a rod and reel. You would actually probably, if I was if I was trying to catch a big mud, uh, I say mud cat. It's actually called a flathead. Yeah. But if I was actually just wanting to catch a flathead, I would probably throw a live bait. Okay. Like a live shad or right. Okay. Something like that. And where are you gonna? Are you? 
Where, where would you get the shad? Would you trap them? You could. Or are you gonna you buy could them? Trap them. You could buy them. You could throw a cast net. However you want to do. Yeah. Okay. Just, uh, just however you want to get a hold of them. Cool. What do you think, Taylor? Are you excited? Yeah. Having fun? I love it. Taylor, I, from what I hear, Taylor has become a, as obsessed as I have about fishing. But Taylor's been doing this for uh, quite a bit longer than I have. But loves fishing, loves being out here, loves doing this stuff. Yeah, so it started out Matt conning me into going with him places. <laughs> he uses me as child labor. <laughs> and now I like it. So. Now you're like, it's not so bad. Maybe not getting up at 5 a.m. That's probably my least favorite part, but the rest of it's good. Yeah. But well, we went two days and we didn't get nothing. Yeah. Well, you just don't know. You know, that's yeah. kind of the allure is you don't know. It's the excitement of you never know. This is probably the only lake fishing I like. I like trout fishing better usually. Yeah. Matt said during the day this kind of trash and debris will kind of congregate here. And so we just need to go easy through here. Just kind of gentle. Through these logs. Look at this. I love this old trestle. This is fun. I've seen people fishing under it before, for sure. Mace nice fishing there now. This is a leech hole. This is here. the great leech hole. That's true. It's the lure. It's on up there. Cherokee lure. We got one hung right here. Did you? Yeah, we got a, we got a line hung in the leech We may hole. catch the leech. We may catch it. So this river, this little trail that we were talking about here that you can see this little deck, they had to redo, did they have to redo that? Didn't that get flooded out? Yeah, I think that's <laughs> new. They just redid this part. Because this part every year would be underwater right now. Yeah. Right. And this this half, this bottom half is inaccessible. When I was in the eighth grade, we went to school at a charter school out there, and I'm not really sure that we were supposed to be, but our gym teacher would let us walk across it, and we did. Oh. We did laps over this bridge and back. That's a cool sketch. Yeah, you know it kind of was. <laughs> Looking back, I don't think that it was. They actually, if you look up there now, I don't know if you can see on the video, have a fence. A locked fence to keep you from yeah, doing that, okay. but that was not there, and we we literally run across this. Was this for the train? Yeah. Okay. Let's look under it. You can we're see. We're just it. checking bush hooks, and we'll be out of your way. We were calling this the leech hole. This is right in the middle. This hook that we're going to check is right in the middle of the leech hole because that's the is that Cherokee lure, Matt? Yeah, so. That there was a great big leech that lived in this hole here and come out on a rock, and if you got too close, it would drag you in. Is that how that went? There's a sign right there that talks about it. That sign talks about it. We just run them until we get tired of it. So you just want to do something else, huh? To, um, where do you guys like to trout fish at? Here, or do you like to go somewhere else? We like, we like it, uh, we fish quite a bit around here, but like down in Hanging Dog area and oh, okay. uh, Davis Creek, but now we go to the places, we go to like Stanley Indian. Oh, that was cold. Yeah, Nanahala, we go to Robbinsville. Where are you at, and where are you fishing at, like Rattler Ford in Robbinsville, or? Yeah, well, the church camping trips up there, so we'll hit that then, and then, I like to fish, we like to fish a lot of specs streams over there. Okay. If you had to say, like, I know this would be a hard, but if you had to say, like, what your, one of your favorite things, like, your favorite fish to catch, or one of your favorite things about it, what would it be? My favorite, like, fishing to do? Yeah, maybe what type of fishing, and what would you, what would you like catching the most? I like catching trout, probably the most. Probably the most? Yeah, I like trout fishing. Uh, I like catching native we call them specs, but native brook traps, which they're actually called. I like yeah. them. And then we like going for big ones, too. We'll fish some of them trophy streams, native streams that we try to catch a, you know, 20 plus inch trout. That's pretty fun. Just wow. target, try to target bigger fish. So when when you guys are fishing for these native fish or the speckled fish, what are you throwing? Because it's all got to be artificial bait. So it's what is it that you... Artificial. I fly fish a lot. It's fly fish, okay. But a lot of times we'll take uh, single hook spinners. Single, single hook, hook spinners. Gold. spinners. That's mainly gold, yeah. Gold, gold. right, okay. Single hook gold mint spinners. So it's the only like thing I know how to use. Oh, okay. <laughs> Taylor says that that's the only thing she likes to do. Or she says it's the only thing that she knows how to use. We, I've got some little um, tube jigs that Nick, he loves the tube jigs. And I, you'd be surprised. There's a variety of stuff you can catch on just this old plain, like, non-exciting brown tube jig. Oh, yeah. I've seen one of y'all's videos where he was using that. I had never seen those. Oh, he's... 
That's what he likes to do. There's your soccer ball, man, if you feel like playing ball. <laughs> Taylor, do Taylor says she's going to pass. She said she don't know. What about you, Billy? You going to pass? No I soccer. Oh, she likes the rooster tail spinners? Yeah, she uses those some. I've got some rooster tails. To be 100% honest, I'm just bad. I'll buy all kinds of stuff because I think it's fun. I'm like, this isn't about having fun buying. I can't have all this bait. I just eat the food. I, I eat the fish, and I'm moral support, and that's about there it. There you go, Billy. It's right there. I really don't think that's the wind. Oh, oh, oh. No, you're right. It was the wind because there's bait on there. <laughs> <laughs> I got excited. That's okay. You got to be excited. When the wind blows like that, it well, it's hard, it's hard to tell. Billy said that she feels like we're the swamp people. Yeah, and the minute like we do find anything like they find in swamp people, I'm never getting in the water. Never again. Oh, <laughs> uh -huh. on WKRK. Yeah. Which channel is that again? 105.5, I think. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. 105.5. Yeah. 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 Did they move from AM to FM? They got uh, they got them on both. Oh, okay. But I forget. Okay, so we are gonna tie some more one or two, three more trot. I'm gonna, I'm calling them trot lines, the bush line, bush hooks, but I'm calling them trot lines. Is there any like, how do you know about length? How long to make them? I do about two arm lengths or two wingspans. Okay. And then I cut it, and then uh, I tie a swivel. Oh. Because when you hang a big one. They'll sit there if you hang one overnight. Hang them over when they're, if you get one early in the night and it's a big one, he'll sit there and he'll, he'll toss and spin all night. If you hang it, if you hang one of these barrel swivels in between it, uh, the line won't twist up. Oh, okay. That way your line don't get twisted and break. That's smart. So Matt, you had a YouTube channel for how long now? I guess four or five years. Was it 2017 or that started? I, I mean, I made that channel when I was in high school for a senior project, but I oh. I, didn't, I had a video, some kind of instructional video to on shoot it. shoot a gun, wasn't it? Yeah, to, like for shooting team. And then, but I didn't, I just done that just for that project. And then uh, I changed the name of it, I guess. Yeah. When I started deciding I was gonna start filming hunting and fishing. And I changed the name of it then. And I started, when I started actually filming and putting hunting and fishing videos on there, it's been like four or five years, probably five years ago. Yeah. On the t-shirts we put like established 2017 or something. Oh, okay. Well, I know that Matt is like our bunch. He's just, he grew up hunting and fishing and Billy and Taylor did too. We all got drug along. We were all doing it. Taylor did. <laughs> <laughs> Billy's killed a deer. I've killed a deer. There you go. I mostly just eat what has been caught. There you go. That's kind of like what I like to do. Well, after the swivel, I, I do one more. One more arm, yeah. arm's length? Yeah. Okay. And that's so that you can have your enough length to tie it to a tree? Yeah, because you never know. Some some limbs are really close to the water, some are really high. So I do more than you need that way. If you got a low limb, you can just wrap it up higher. Okay. And then if you but if you got a really, really high limb, you've got enough to where you can still get it down in the water. I like to at least get it in the water like a foot and a half, two foot deep. That's smart. But a lot of them's probably on the bottom. I mean the deeper deeper is fine. I just don't want them too shallow. Okay. What about you? What's your favorite? You like to trout fish, Taylor? Yeah. That's more of what you like to get I after. I don't like to sit still too long, so like uh, this is fun because you you just get to check and you get to keep moving. But like when we did, Matt took me lake fishing a few times. And we went. I was with him with, on a tournament one time. Wow. And it went. I just don't. I don't like to sit still too long. It's the trout. Yeah. I like the trout fishing because you're walking yeah. up the water, you know, and you can see other stuff mm -hmm. at the creek, and that's fun. Crawl dads and whatnot. Yeah. Matt was the first one who ever <laughs> took me trout fishing when I was like eight or something. He had to carry me through the holes. But. Oh. <laughs> sort of red flower over there. Wow, that's a pretty. Tree down there, right there. A persimmon tree, wow. Yeah, they should stink. Oh shoot. It's pretty, pretty rough. It's, it's pretty rough, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's pretty rough. That's disgusting. Dead thing. They're warm. I looked at it and I was like, yeah. I 
I'm just gonna leave this one. Uh, not for love. And not for love, Bailey says. Let's jump off together. Let's go. Let's do it. And I'm like, honey. Oh, yeah, because we have I'd rather just, you know, drop you. Oh, I forgot we had the I love the Lord Jesus a bit more. Yeah, I'll go find somebody else. So, there's apparently another folklore about this big rock ledge being called Lover's Leap and some, and I don't know if it was Native Americans, Trailer Tears situation where they both jumped off because, I don't know, but Lover's Leap. Right, they couldn't be together, so they decided what the heck, we won't be alive at all. So, apparently that's the legend here, but this is really big. How, how tall do you think that is, Matt? I don't know. Probably like, I don't like it's at 100 feet. It feels like it. But the honeysuckle is literally growing straight up. It's crazy. Because love is the sweetest honey. <laughs> 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 All right, Matt. Getting this tied up. Yeah, tied it. We're going to this is one of our extra lines set. that we're going to put. It's set. Do I need back up? Uh, yeah, back it up a little and then just go back up the lake. Okay, we don't have anything on the lines yet, but I think that I'm gonna come back Sunday morning. You guys talked about we might come back. I'm gonna try to come back Sunday morning and we're gonna check some of these lines. So I'm pretty stoked about that. They're gonna come back tomorrow around one and I don't know if I'll I'll make it out then, but I should be able to make it Sunday morning. I think it'd be cool to go in the morning time. Okay, well cool then. Um, until Sunday then, stay tuned. Bye. <laughs> Say bye, Billy. Bye, 10-4. 10-4. That's right. 10-4 ten for 10-4 ten ten four Outdoors. 10-4. <laughs>
Is you do have to have a boat. Gotta go through the trash field, guys. Matt! <laughs> what are you doing? Well, that's not so you can get blue without using this motor. Oh, good idea, Matt. You had to. Are you dang have to lift the motor up to get the truck? You know me. <laughs> I was like, Matt, what are you doing? We're gonna go log skipping. <laughs> but he had it figured out. So Matthew, Matt, this is probably and everybody already knows the answer to this but me. It all collects together in this. It's just weird that it was on one thin thing. Why? It's just the way the current or something. I have no idea. It sure does. It'll bundle up. We come down here the last time we checked them last year. At the end of like we was done for the season. We come down here and uh, they was trash. They come a huge storm. They was trash like that big from where we put in. All the way down as far as you can see. Oh, we no. was literally going through there with a paddle and a net, creating a path just to, just to pull our lines up for the year. It took us like three times as long. That's crazy. Bad. And and Nick, there's a legend. Like the legend here goes, just fish jumping over there. That um, I don't know if it was. Native Americans or whoever it was, two people were together and they were going to be split up or something and so they both took a leap and killed themselves. Obviously, so they didn't have to go to be split up. And that's what they say about this big rock face. There it is. There's that striper we caught right here last year. Oh, that's a good one. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> that thing is good. When they hang on there, they die. Yeah. they got to keep moving. Yeah. So when we, when we got there, that thing was like stiff as a boat paddle. Oh no! I was like, I doubt we should do uh, it. was turning color, you know? I highly doubt we should eat that one. <laughs> no, it's floating. What? It's floating. Oh great. You got it? It's in that trash. Yeah. You caught over 100 fish? We caught well, right near 100 fish last year in two weeks so we were talking about the water temperature matt said it'd probably be better up here when the water temperature down there in the lake warms up and then that'll really shoot them up here yeah i think i'm guessing i don't know that for a fact but i think <coughs> that must have been what the difference was last year because it was hot well we have had a good time though we caught a few but it wasn't nothing like that last year we come out here some days and like out of 30 lines 20 of them or 25 of them would be shaking wow definitely a lot better so I think it was like middle of June late June when we got it last year but this is fun and I've had a good time it's a beaver y'all it's got something oh that was cool we are back to the shore no fish but we've had a good time and we're really glad that Matt let us come with him, aren't we? Matt says we're gonna do it again. It really has been so much fun. Um, it's just fun to get out and get to do something. We met at the boat ramp here this morning at about six. So it's just, I don't know, it's just good to get up and be up and actually have something going on, something to do. So like I said, we might not have caught any catfish on those bush hooks but i did uh have that footage to put in here of when matt and his friend caught one and that other picture so that's pretty cool that's a wrap yep. it's been fun we have had a good time uh maybe we didn't catch any fish but we still had a good, i had a good time i like being out here and matt said we can do this again so maybe sometime we'll come back out here and uh maybe we'll go fishing like with a rod and reel or maybe we'll do some bush hooks we'll do something because this has been a lot of fun a couple weeks a couple of weeks give it a little bit of time um the church camping trips coming up so you never know there might be some fishing in a video about that we'll figure that out but as always thank you for watching don't forget we're gonna drop a link in the description below to uh, matt's channel because like i said before wholesome content hunting and fishing matt is hilarious his whole family is funny we love these people we had a good time and uh until then we're saying 10-4 10-4 <laughs> nick
What? Say it. <laughs> 10-4. <laughs> Bye.